Hey guys, this is Ben with Exceptional Bass, eighty eight, eighty three Glass. Today we are in Colonia, New Jersey. Uh, doing actually a service on the shower. It is approximately, I'd say maybe six, seven years old maybe. So what's happening here is some adjustment has become undone. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and close the door. It gets really tight right there. It's difficult to move. <laughs> so, just like with anything else, including ourselves, some maintenance has to be done to, to uh, ensure, you know, everything is working properly. And just like uh, our own bodies, you know, things get out of adjustment and sometimes you just need to uh, do a quick little maintenance. So, this actually applies also to the uh, colder levity. I'll make sure I'll add that in the tags um, because those guys are infamous for coming out of uh, adjustment. But this design and the levity work the same as far as how these adjustments are. Meaning the adjustments is literally in the top rollers. So that means when you turn it counterclockwise, you'll find that there's a little Allen key set somewhere up here. Okay, so we use that as a determination. So when the Allen key hole is faced directly down, that means this door is maxed as high as it can. And then if the Allen key hole is at the top, then that means it's maxed all the way down. So we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do here. Um, sadly, I'm by myself and it's gonna be difficult to record one-handed. Uh, let me see what I can do. All right, so let me see what I can do as far as one-handed. So first step would be loosen up the bottom hinge first. And oh, it's actually really difficult to do with a camera in the face. There we go. So as you can see here, the Allen key set downwards, right? So I'm gonna use this, this um, same strategy for the top. So as you see, by the time I turn it, you see how the wheel goes up higher? So there you go. See, that means the door will be lower in this place. Now, this doesn't physically do anything aside from keeping the door from kicking off and uh, falling off the top rail. So this is already secured now. It's got a vinyl basket in here, so I'm not really too concerned about it. I'll just move it over a little bit and uh, check out the disclaimer. <laughs> We're not responsible for, um, you know, you chipping your glass by doing this repair. This is merely for informative uh, purposes. Uh, we strongly encourage you to hire a professional. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this guy up. Without, try, without stripping this darn Allen key. So there, she's loose. Now you see, now I have the little uh, Allen key faced out. And now, as you see, look, I haven't even tightened it up yet. Look, I barely need any, any strength to move this guy back and forth. So now that I'm happy with that, the Allen key's face down, that means it's at its max. I go ahead and retighten it. And if you're doing this yourself, please get a friend because now I'll have to pause the video and use my other hand to hold this guy down while I'm tightening this. All right, we're back. So as you see, the Allen key hole is now face down. That means the door is at its maximum. And I'm gonna take this guy and just let it kiss the metal. We don't want it super tight because then it creates friction. We just want it to just ever so lightly, just slightly touch. And again, this is much easier to do with a friend. Go ahead and tighten this guy up and double check. Wow, oh, yeah. so, so nicely. Right. And then you inspect everything else and while, you, while you're at it, you have your Allen key in your freaking hand already. Go ahead and just tighten everything up. Okay. Just tighten everything up real nicey, loosey, uh, tidy guidey, I guess, because opposite of loosey, loosey. There you go. See? Now the door works perfectly. And remember, if you need one of these, please feel free to give us a call. 888-83-GLASS or visit our website at njglassdoors.com. Thank you.